you wrote out what Ben says. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to the 2017 GSAC Summer Mystery Tournament Round Robin. My name is Galen and joined with me today is Brody. How are you today, Brody? I'm fine. How are you, Galen? I'm pretty good, man. Uh, so this is the first match of the round robin. We have a tin foil hat, aka Adam, facing against Pie Face Guy, aka Wes, in a game that is very close to my heart, and I can't wait to see this. Um, since this is the first match, uh, let me explain a little bit about the round robin. Uh, the main idea of this is to basically bring our competitors back from the tournament and play the games that they uh, they missed out on. Uh, against people that they, you know, might not have played before. So, you know, uh, as you can see here with this, it's uh, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, which I played. Uh, and, yeah, it, sh it should be interesting, because I assume that these players have, you know, watched our tournament, so they might actually have a general idea of how the game works. you have any other input on that? I don't think so. All right, so uh, I guess we'll get started on this. You ready? Yep. All right, three, two, one, go. All right. So I think right now we're just seeing the pre-run stuff. But uh, like like I said, this match, um, Adam versus Wes, in actually the first game that I played in the original tournament. So... You know, I'm very familiar with how this game goes. Yeah. I um, wonder if there'll be things where they pick up on, like, certain things that you didn't, maybe? Yeah, or... like, I know uh, two things I got stuck on a lot was going up the stairs, uh, which I've complained about plenty of times, uh, to Ben. <laughs> how dare he? <laughs> and uh, the windows. Even though he told, you know, he told uh, the players, both in my match and I believe this one, that you... You know, the, you can open the windows. You gotta check the windows. But when I got to the first level where that actually mattered, I completely forgot. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, so far, uh, seems like they... They've definitely been checking the doors pretty well, and actually have even been checking the windows, but I don't think either of them have really made it up the stairs, or... Yeah. Yeah, that That's... seems like a big challenge of the game, just trying to figure out how these stairs work. Oh, for because... sure. oh, oh like... he jumped up. Yeah, he, he and... jumped and landed on it. Interesting. Wow. I, I actually didn't know you could do that. Yeah. There's a... We... Uh, Adam's really trying. He's... Oh, <laughs> he actually got on him. Oh, well, he jumped up too. I wonder if that's like the best way to get oh, up there. Oh, Wes died though. Took a few too many mm -hmm. hits. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think I ever managed to land on the stairs after jumping, so... Yeah. They figured some secret method out. Yeah. Yeah, uh, because talking, talking with you guys after you played it, it oof. seemed like that was one of the most difficult things to... Oh, for sure. I believe that's what, um... Uh, who was my competitor? Was that Andrew H., I think? I think so. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what, uh... No, sorry, it was JT, who will not be uh, participating in the round robin. Um, but yeah, he got stuck on that. I th I think that took him quite a while, which I don't yeah. blame him at all. Yeah, you can see both of these guys struggling on that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it looks <laughs> <laughs> it looks like uh, resolution in certain parts of the screen are getting messed with. <laughs> so that's kind of interesting. Live I, editing. Yeah. It's great. I think Adam's some of his screens cut off because you can't really see his health right now. Right. But yeah, both players did have a death already, so they're kind of on even ground. Adam back to trying to figure out how stairs work. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's great because he, he just kind of Michael Jackson just kind of dances as you're pressing up and over and down. Yeah. It, it uh, really fits the theme. <laughs> Maybe that's the whole point. The developers are like, we're gonna make the stairs really hard, so we can just make Michael Jackson dance. Oh, for sure. Just just so you can enjoy the the great music for a little bit longer. Yeah. Oh, looks like Adam's the first one to finish a level, and Wes died again. 
So Adam's on this little horde fight sort of thing. Enemies just kind of drop out of windows. One strategy I found was you just kind of stay crouched uh, and then let them come to you because they only seem to be able to throw knives at... Oh, goodness, we're zooming in a little bit. <laughs> they can only throw knives at head height. Yeah. Um, so I guess the just for a refresher, I guess, the, the main goal of every level or the main levels is to find all the like hidden girls behind yes. the doors and windows. Yes, there are... Michael Jackson, as you know, is a, uh, a ladies' man, or was a ladies' man, and he's all about yeah. <laughs> saving them girls. A young and, ladies' man. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, he he, sa he saves them all. They might be young this time. It's kind of hard to tell, right? Yeah. But, uh, yes, he's these, you know, nice, well-dressed men uh, kidnap the women, and so Michael Jackson's saving them. Uh, and... Believe it or not, they're not all behind doors. It gets it gets a little strange as you go <laughs> along, uh, but we'll we'll get to that. Mm. Yeah, so Wes is now like at the yeah, at the uh, yeah. horde mode or pie face guy. Yeah, can never decide whether you call them by their name or their you know tag. Yeah. It's like it's the internet, so usernames, but we also yeah. know them, so it's like... Yeah, and I, I know throughout the first tournament, there's there's a lot of just back and forth with, like, which what do we use? Yeah. Oh, it looks like Adam figured out a new move. Yeah, well, he picked up a power-up that lets him throw his hat. Oh, is that what that is? Okay. Yeah, I actually never found that on any of the... I think it's on each level, but usually behind, like, a window, and I never really found those. I wonder... How, it seems like it's pretty useful. Oh, for sure. Yeah. You don't have to get close. It, at a, a later level, when you start with it on, on the second world, it actually is kind of confusing at times. But we'll see how they handle it. Uh, just a quick explanation how this game works. Yeah, you, you got to get the you got to find all the girls on the level behind either doors or some other object. And there are there are three levels within a world. And the goal is... I guess we could have mentioned the goal. Uh, the Maybe. goal is to beat World 3. So... We'll see uh, who can figure it out first. Yeah. Looks like Adam is on the second horde mode level round thing. Seems like the hat's coming pretty handy. Oh, definitely. They both have the hat. There we go. Uh, oh. <laughs> He's on uh, World 1-3 now. This oh, is where the really girls nice. are hidden behind the windows. Uh, uh, so, okay. And it, it looks like he's caught on oh, there's immediately. One. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. it seems like that's pretty stressed between Ben initially telling you guys, you guys playing it, and if these guys watch the videos to, like, check windows. Yeah, they, they actually know. It's it's one thing to be told, but then you're going into it. It's another thing when you've seen someone play and like, oh, yeah, I, I do remember them doing that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but... I, want, I wonder how much these guys have reviewed the games that we played. Uh, that's definitely uh, something I was wondering, too, because I know for, for me, I've actually watched through the all, all the matches, I think, like, two times by now. <laughs> Not not even just in preparation for the torn you know this round robin, but just because I, I like watching it, you know. Yeah, it's entertaining. Yeah, it's it's fun to you know see how people played through games and you know how they how they handle something like this. Yeah, you can kind of tell like how people think about things and try to solve puzzles in a certain way. Yeah, and just kind of what certain mechanics people just don't quite catch on to for a while, because sometimes people get stuck on one part for a long time. Yeah. And it's interesting. So what so. happens when you you just have to restart like the level you're on if you die? Oh, actually, we're seeing a continue. Mm -hmm. uh, but yes, it... Oh, Alright, very professional. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, it, it looks like all that happens is you have to restart the uh, yeah the level you were on. I found the pause menu. It actually tells you how many lives you have and how many girls you have to find. I don't remember ever using that. Uh, yeah, a lot. Some games are very unforgiving with death. Uh, we we have actually seen one in the first tournament where 
Whenever you lose all your lives, you have to completely start over. <laughs> that was an interesting one. Uh, but in this one, it looks like you just kind of restart the level. I don't know if... You know, I think if you lose a life but not have to use a continue, it might save progress in all the girls that you've already found. But I'm not 100% I'm not sure on that. So, it looks like tinfoil hat, as I will now call him for just this moment, is, uh, might be getting close to finishing World 1-3. He's on the top floor. Oh. Spoke too Sorry soon. That. That's alright. Uh, but yeah, tinfoil hat was at the top floor, and unless he missed someone below, you know, might have been close, but then he died. Hmm. So, we'll have to see if he, uh, you know how far behind that put him it's yeah. look it's looking like that because he didn't use a continue it did save all the girls he's already rescued uh, I haven't I haven't seen a single one pop up yet um, so he's kind of wasting time actually going down unless he missed something yeah but I guess he I guess he hasn't noticed it yet I wonder how frustrating it must be to be like, I, I know I'm missing like one or two because I've got a bunch, and then you just can't find it. Yeah, I... Oh, wow, he just moonwalked. I don't think I ever oh, did wow. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he did the name. It's Michael Jackson Moonwalker, and he, he did the moonwalk. He did the signature move. Apparently there are... Um, I was informed afterwards that there are special moves you can do, like moonwalk, that I never discovered because I wasn't spending a lot of time pressing buttons and yeah. you know I was just like oh I found this one method of attacking that works I'm gonna do that <laughs> they're both yeah, the actually, same uh, World 1 3 now yeah, I actually stumbled upon like another Michael Jackson game after this oh. and it, it was kind of strange like like you got a power up that let you do a moonwalk and it killed everything on screen but they danced like with you too it, it was really <laughs> weird yeah, that but is odd. These games are definitely uh, interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, ben did a great job of finding some really fun and wacky games for the tournament. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like Adam's just going through and checking every single thing. Yep, he, he is completely rechecking. If uh, if he had discovered the pause menu like uh, Pie Face Guy did... Uh, then he might have been able to check and see that he only has one or two missing and realized, mm -hmm. oh, it saved it, but... Uh, yeah. We'll see. It definitely helped uh, Pie Face Guy to catch up a bit. Because they're on the same uh, level now. I don't think he's too far behind. Watch it be the very last door. Uh, probably will be. It's usually how it goes, right? Right? Last door! Yeah! Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah here, here we go. He's on the, the horde level. Alright, and then this will be the end of, like, World 1? Yep. Okay. So as long as he doesn't die here. I don't know how many lives he has left, but I don't think he has many. Yeah. It, this, this, it gets a little more complicated because he got guys throwing Molotovs and stuff. I don't know what was going on there. Michael Jackson becoming a robot. <laughs> oh. Oh. Bit of a bit of a Skype issue there, but as you can see, yeah. Adam, or sorry, Tinfoil Hat is now on World 2 with cars, I guess bike, you know, gangers and uh, <laughs> explosives. Oh, he opened the trunk of that and got blown up, I guess. Yeah. That's uh, lovely. You gotta watch out for that. Oh, the elevator looks much easier to navigate than the stairs. Though. Oh, it is a lot better. <laughs> It's it's a reward for beating World One. They're like, here you go. You don't have to use stairs anymore. Yeah. I think World Three was also uh, similar, where although instead of an elevator, I think it's just kind of like you can jump up through platforms, and maybe even jump down through them. Uh. So yeah. Oh man, Tinfoil Hat's just flying through. Yeah. Level or World Two One. I never know what they call them, you know, it's like, is it worlds, rounds, levels, areas? Yeah. 
Like in Mario, like it would be different worlds, I guess. So. Yeah. Seems like I don't know. they haven't really figured out. I, one thing I found very useful is just anytime you approach an enemy, you just right as you get up to them, you crouch. They'll like attack over you, walk up to you, and then you can hit them while crouched. They kind of let themselves get hit a lot, but hasn't been, you know, they they've died a bit. Yeah. Uh, but it hasn't been too bad. Yeah, it looks like MJ comes with like a good amount of health. So. Oh yeah, he's he's a sturdy individual. <laughs> Definitely. So this car level looks like you just kind of go through a level, pick all the cars, and then just, you, it looks very yeah, linear. Just, just, just go up to go the next path. floor. Yeah, I mean, they are all kind of like that, but this one feels even more because it's just, there's a car, open it. There's a car, yeah. open it. At least when there's the other... doors and windows, it's a little more to it. Yeah, well, at least in the house, it looks like there's like different staircases that go all over the place. Yeah. But with this parking garage, it's like you walk to the one side, there's one elevator up, and then you walk to the back of the side, and, and you go back not, up that yeah, elevator. Not very complicated. Although, on uh, level three of World 2, you get dogs, which are a pain to deal with. Because they yeah, you jump, to... yeah. and, you, and you, all you have is your hat attack. Which is kind of hard to hit them with, so we'll see how Adam, or sorry, Tinfoil Hat, navigates that. Uh, pie face guy might be almost done. One three. Oh, yep. Oh, Go, going into the, the horde. Door. There's Attack. that last door again. Yeah, it'll it'll get you. Yeah, I never really found a very or a foolproof method for these dogs. Yeah, it seemed like he ducked under one and they tried it again, and, it, and then it jumped it like it landed low, right on and him. It, yeah. So, yeah. And they, they can land on top of the car too, and then you can't really hit them easily. Yeah. Uh. Tinfoil Hat's definitely doing what I found was a good strategy, which is just let them jump over you and keep going. Oh, yeah. He had to use a continue here, so he lost all the progress he made on 2-3. Uh, mm -hmm. Although it looks like he actually thinks that it saved his progress this time around. Yeah, because he went up the whole way. Yeah, he, it seems like he learned from the last time he died when he, you know, none of the girls popped up. But unfortunately, when you use a continue, I don't think it actually saves any that you rescued. Yeah, otherwise he would be done right now. So. Yep. Looks like he's realizing that now. Got the awesome music, though. Mm -hmm. So oh, it looks yeah. like Pie Fight. Pie Fight. Pie... <laughs> you get oh, it. Oh my god. Pie Face Guy. <laughs> pie Face Guy is on the parking garage now. So. Yep. He's a. Uh... I believe on 2-1. So, a bit of catching up to do, but it's quite possible with these dogs, especially. Yeah. It, it... Oh. Yeah, if, he, if he keeps taking hits like this, he's yeah. gonna... Tinfoil had actually got really lucky for a moment. Uh, picked up health when he was at 1, but it wasn't enough. Although, yeah. his strategy was smart, because now all he has to do is stay on the ground floor and check every car. Because uh, he's already took care of the top. Mm -hmm. So it's not a lot of moving that he has to do. But Tinfoil Hat certainly could get stuck on uh, World 3. It's got a whole new mechanic to it. Or at least a whole so, new wave of enemies. And... So I don't think we're going to see them anymore. But, uh, no, we will see them. What are these bikers wielding? Are they clubs? You know, it looks are, like are they're they baseball bats. Pin? Are they bowling pins? I, I think they're colorful baseball bats. Okay. Uh, because in the horde mode, they were like throwing them, and they just kind of went off into the distance. It was kind of like, what? It's, what would they be throwing? It's hard to tell, you know? So, Tinfoil like, Hat's making it to World 3. Uh, you'll notice, uh, got some graves. <laughs> Girls are hiding in the graves now. And, uh, <laughs> some zombies. Oh no. Uh oh. Maybe, bit of lag. May, maybe they're really like tough and buff like jugglers. Oh, it's quite possible. Maybe I uh I assume too much of them. Maybe they're just you know, yeah, part of a circus. They're, they're, not, they're not part gang. of a yeah, they're not a biker gang. Cause there is no motorcycles. It is like yeah, all cars. that's true. It's just in a parking garage, not a single motorcycle, so 
I don't know. We we don't really know that their story, so we shouldn't assume. True. Uh, but Tinfoil Hat making his way through 3-1. That girl was in a bush. Yeah, they're behind graves and bushes for whatever reason. I like how the health power-ups are just little statues of Michael Jackson. Oh yeah, in a nice green suit. I believe the hat-throwing power-ups are yellow suits. Uh, but Pie Face Guy moving on to 2-3. We'll see how he can handle the dogs. Oh, uh, this jumping zombie is... Yeah, I found the zombies to be uh, not a, not as bad as the dogs, but they took a little while to learn because sometimes they just run at you and sometimes they jump. So getting the timing down on that is difficult. Yep, as Tinfoil Hat is <laughs> experiencing right now. So I know he went through the level uh, and thought he got every you know everything, but looks like he missed. A girl somewhere. I think it's that bush right there. Is this water yep. he's walking on? Uh, oh, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's water. Sticky like, mud, maybe. I was gonna say, he like slows down, but he can walk over it, and it's... Yeah. But there is like clearly defined like stones, like you would think... Yeah, you, you walk at normal speed on those, so I guess what you're supposed to do is kind of jump between them. I don't know. Uh, one fun, or one fun fact, I guess, is the uh, horde mode with the zombies is actually the easiest of the three. Once you clear out the initial ones, you can see where they're spawning and you just kind of punch them, you know? Just kind of punch in one spot. Mm -hmm. So, shouldn't be too much difficulty there. Uh, the levels do get a little, you know, less linear, I guess, as you can see here, where there's a little more kind of free platforming that you can do. Yeah, I was going to mention that it looked like you could actually get lost in this. Yeah, it, um, and also with like the, cause you can jump through some platforms, but I don't think you can jump down through all of them. So figuring out where you can go down and you know, if you miss something below, it can uh, take a bit. And also, which you know, Tinfoil Hat caught on to is you can jump on the gravestones. Might not be something you'd notice, you know, right away. Yeah, it seems crucial to get up higher. Oh, definitely. I mean, I think in that one spot you had to. Uh, Pie Face Guy, unfortunately, facing a game over. Uh, mm -hmm. Tinfoil Hat as well, actually. So that's a, that's a big hit to both of them. Oh, that dog. Given the, <laughs> just not, not very nice right now. He's just like, I'm out of here. I'm not <laughs> dealing with this. I'll come back around. I, I don't I don't blame him at all. I, like I said, I found this to be such a pain. Wow, they they are dying quite a bit. I don't remember mm -hmm. how much I died uh, myself. It, it was a number of times, but they I I I don't think I died nearly as much as them because I played a lot safer. I I may, I kind of let everything try to come to me. Uh. So I, you know, I, and I don't know which strategy is necessarily better. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely seems like they're just kind of taking everything and just moving on, yep. assuming they're they're taking advantage of the large amount of health that Michael Jackson has. Uh, and in some ways, it's paying off, but in at times, it uh, it's definitely hurt them. Yeah. But they both I... are doing it, so neither one's really gaining an advantage or at a disadvantage because of it yeah i'd imagine if you like calculated your lives and timed everything out pretty well so that you would game over as soon as, soon as you start a new level or something Ooh, yeah. that you could really take advantage be... of that yeah yeah because if you're just like okay i went to the top and i'll just die and i'll do the bottom now yeah that would that would be an interesting strategy. I don't think either of them has thought of that though. Tinfoil hat on the horde mode section. I don't know what a good name for it is. Just to beat him up real quick. Yeah. Uh, was he? He's uh, going on to two three now, I think. Yeah. Or sorry, three three. Excuse me. Uh, but pie face guy on uh, finishing up two three here. Unless he dies to the dogs, I hope not. 
If uh, you die, will you just do the the horde mode again? I'm not sure. I never died on the horde mode. Because <laughs> they, they do you... refresh your health. I almost died once. I think you restart on it, though. But I'm not sure. I was going to say, it seems kind of hard to die. Yeah. Like I said, they give you your health back. It's usually not too much to handle. Oh, I guess we're going to oh. see it here, though. <laughs> the, I, oh, yep, you do start over on it. Okay. That would really suck. Oh, yeah, that would be terrible. I If you get a game over, that might be what happens, though. You might have to completely redo the level. Uh, but Tinfoil Hat's on, on the last level. He just has to find all the girls and beat the little horde mode rush thing, zombies everywhere, and he'll be done. Uh, it looks like he's going to take another death. So it's going to slow him down a bit. I don't know if uh, Pie Face Guy is going to be able to catch up, but Tinfoil Hat might get stuck on this level. It's uh, a much more open level than the others. Well, let's take a moment to appreciate the music for this level, because we currently the sound is coming from Pie Face Guy, so we haven't gotten to hear it until now. I'm not sure what song that is, to be honest. You think Thriller, but that doesn't sound like Thriller to me. But I, I, I must admit, I don't listen to a lot of Michael Jackson. So. Yeah, I know a couple songs, but yeah. not many. I, I, I would recognize a lot of songs, but I don't listen to them, you know, all day. Maybe I should start. Uh, looks like Tinfo Hat's at one health. Maybe he'll be a little careful. Oh. Nope. <laughs> the zombies will get you, I'm telling you. Oh, no, that's a continue for him. Oh, wow. See, that's what it takes if Pyface guy, like, you know, can just place a little safe so that he doesn't die a lot, uh, but hurries through. He could catch up. It's possible. Yeah. We've seen yeah. it. I mean, yeah, he just finished three, well, not fully finished three one, but almost done with 3-1, so... And Tinfoil Hat doesn't seem to have a care in the world about health right now. <laughs> One uh, really interesting dynamic in this tournament is just the the, the sense of urgency uh, is to be expected, of course, with something where you're speedrunning against another person, or just speedrunning in general. But it's even uh, more compounded by the fact that you have no idea how well the other person is doing. So, I know in every single one of my matches, there was, there'd be a point, especially when I get stuck, stuck on something for a little bit, where I'm just thinking, any second now, I'm going to see that they won. You know? It's, you're, just, you're just waiting for that, you lost, to pop up. Yeah, especially on puzzle games, where you, you hit a wall, and you just can't figure something out. Yeah. And then you're just like... They figured it out five minutes ago. I'm so done for. Yeah, it it really changes how you play because you know if, if you if you could see you know exactly where someone's at. Like if Tim Fulhat could see where Pie Face guy is at right now, you know he might play a little slower. He might be like, okay, I'm ahead. Let me slow down a bit and make sure I don't keep dying. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's just the one of the fun things with it we've you know sometimes people rush a little too much when they're actually when they're already ahead and it puts them behind uh, but looks like tinfoil hat missed a girl somewhere probably somewhere on the right side I think there's a lot of like climbing up you have to do uh, to get to one of them Pie face guy making his way up. Looks like he's almost at the top. Hopefully he didn't miss a girl. And hopefully he doesn't lose a life here. Yeah. It's not as easy as the uh, car oh. park where you can just ride the elevator right back up. Yeah, you do have to do some platforming. These zombies. Oh, that was real dangerous. Oh, my. Wow. So Tinfoil Hat uh, got a restart, which actually might help him. And Pie face guy... Uh, making his way to the end of 3-2. If Tinfoil Hat gets a game over, this will be, like, a pretty even game. He might even be behind. Well, likely will be behind, if that happens. 
Uh, but he is making his way up that right side, and he's got a lot of health, so... We'll see. Yeah, see, there's this whole other section that you can only get up on, like, the right side. That, uh, I, I think I might have missed. Uh-oh. Tinfoil had, uh, found the last girl. All he has to do is make it through this little waterfall zombie apocalypse section. Oh, man. Looks like he might, might get this. And there it is. That would be that. Then you get into this weird cavern world, but looks like uh, Tinfoil Hat is our winner. Pie Face Guy it was a very close match, though. Uh, but yeah. Just uh, couldn't quite catch up. I don't even know what's going on in that world, but all right. It's definitely interesting.